Welcome to quarter 3 week 4 grade 4 mathematics. Relates triangles to quadrilaterals. Relates one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. For example, square to rhombus. After going through this lesson, you are expected to 1. Describe the different kinds of triangles and quadrilaterals and 2. Identify triangles and quadrilaterals. Hey kids, I want you to meet my playmates. They will help you to learn about triangles and quadrilaterals. There will be more activities about it in this module. Kids, let us begin the fun. Answer this. Identify the following. Choose your answer from the box. Number one. It is a polygon with three sides and three angles. Number two, it is a polygon with four sides and four angles. Number three, it is a triangle that has three equal sides. Number four, it is a triangle that has two equal sides. Number five, it is a triangle that has no equal sides. Number six, it has two pairs of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. Number seven, it is a parallelogram that has four equal sides. Number eight, it is a parallelogram that has four right angles. Its opposite sides are equal. Number nine, it is a parallelogram that has four equal sides and four right angles. And number 10, it has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Answer it in your notebook. I will give you 5 minutes. And your timer starts now.
Time's up. So here are the correct answers. Kids, let's recall the kinds of triangles according to angles. You can also classify triangles by their angles. A right triangle has one angle that is a right angle or 90 degrees. An acute triangle has all three angles that are acute angles or less than 90 degrees. And an obtuse triangle has one angle that is an obtuse angle or greater than 90 degrees. Kids, let me introduce the three kinds of triangles according to their sides. So these are the triangles based on sides. We have scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. The length of all sides of scalene triangle are different. The length of two sides of an isosceles triangle are equal. The length of all sides of an equilateral triangle are equal. Hey kids, let us learn now about quadrilaterals. What is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is any polygon with four sides. Kids, here are the different types of quadrilaterals. Parallelogram. It has two pairs of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. Rhombus. It is a parallelogram that has four equal sides. Rectangle. It is a parallelogram that has four right angles. Its opposite sides are equal. Square. It is a parallelogram that has four equal sides and four right angles. Trapezoid. It has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Kids, you need to know this. So this is a quadrilateral club. All parallelograms are quadrilaterals because it has four sides and four angles. So, parallelogram club. Rule, must have two pairs of parallel sides. Rectangle club, the rule is it must have four right angles or 90 degrees. Rhombus club, rule, must have four equal sides. Square gets into all three clubs, parallelogram, rhombus, and rectangle clubs. And trapezoid, rule, must have one pair of parallel sides. Trapezoid is in the quadrilateral club but not the parallelogram club. Remember, a polygon is a closed figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. Triangles can be classified according to their sides. An equilateral triangle has three equal sides. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. And a scalene triangle has no equal sides. These are the different quadrilaterals. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. A rhombus is a parallelogram that has four equal sides. A rectangle is a parallelogram that has four right angles. Its opposite sides are equal. A square is a parallelogram that has four equal sides and four right angles. Any trapezoid has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. <music>